Governor Hochul has signed legislation banning the display of hate symbols on publicly owned entities like fire and police departments and school districts. The law was prompted by incidents last year on Long Island where Confederate flags had been displayed. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. A Confederate flag paraded on a Long Island fire truck last year amid an uptick in troubling incidents. Swastikas at a police athletic league, a noose at a sanitation yard. Tuesday, Governor Hochul answered what she calls the disgusting rise in racist, hateful behavior, signing into law a ban on hate symbols on publicly funded property. We have a lot of volunteer fire departments. We want to make sure people in the community feel good about coming and volunteering and working there. Senator Anna Kaplan sponsored the bill after a Brookhaven Fire Department truck was draped with a Confederate flag last year. The department later apologized and condemned the unauthorized act. Yet another flag at a Levittown fire station. Bill sponsors say no one should have to interface with a hate symbol in a place all are equal. This taxpayer doesn't see the harm. I'm against anyone telling anyone how to think. It's a, a symbol of the South. But the whole South isn't racist, and the whole South isn't about slavery, and that's all long gone. It's horrible for so many different reasons. Activist Shaniqua Levin says it's a blatantly divisive symbol. They were fighting to keep your people enslaved, to keep my great-grandparents, to keep their parents, and so forth, in chains, shackled, beaten, and treated as less than human. That's the culture and the history that they're trying to preserve with the Confederate flag. The person who posted this picture that went viral told CBS2 it's the symbol of slave-owning states' rebellion. It represents racists and traitors to the nation and has no place on taxpayer-owned property. There will be no criminal penalties, but the law gives courts authority to have signs removed. Also hanging in a Levittown firehouse last year, a Trump banner. Albany is also mulling a ban on political signs on municipal property. Kaplan says, of course, people have the right to their political views but not to force them on others in taxpayer-funded facilities that belong to everyone. In Brookhaven, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the law banning hate symbols on taxpayer-funded facilities takes effect immediately.